Hi, I'm Andy Doing, and I'm from Doing Meadows Farm, and we're going to talk a little bit about making this pure, natural, sweet maple syrup. First of all, I want to start by saying the sugar is actually made by the sun shining on the green leaf on the tree all summer long. That bud opens up and it ends our one sugar season and the leaf grows and for the next summer, all summer long, as that sun shining on the green leaf, it's making sugar and storing it in the tree at the same time it's releasing oxygen to the air. And so that's why the tree is beneficial, but when it shines on the leaf, and makes that sugar it's stored and the very first crop we get from our, our planting season our harvest season comes anytime after the tree's gone dormant that the temperatures get warm enough for the tree to thaw it will start to run sap there's a phenomenon that happens there's gases inside the tree that when they thaw they actually expand and it builds pressure in a tree it will build pressure and force the sap up the tree and the same, the opposite happens when it freezes. The, the tree builds a negative pressure, actually draws some of the excess moisture out of the tree and it, the, just to protect the tree. And then when it thaws again, the pressure builds in the tree again. When the pressure's building in the tree, that's when we can get our sap run. Because we, what we do is we drill a hole in the tree. This is a roll of tin spile. You can use it by hanging a bucket on there. And uh, you drill a hole in the tree, tap it in just far enough, to seal, uh, seal the outside layer so when the pressure builds in the tree it will leak into the spile and we can collect it. What we would mostly use now is a, is a pipeline system. I use a check valve. You put this on, you tap that in a tree and then you seat this on there and it's good for the season. And this sap as it runs, it runs, comes through the ground, through the soil, through the roots, up into the tree. And then during that process, there's actually trace minerals that come into the tree and end up in the sap. And some of those trace minerals come all the way through to the finished product. So that's why our pure natural sugar that comes from maple does have some trace minerals, which is things that our body does need. And so, but the way that happens is that sap flows up through the tree and it ends up coming out as sap and there's just a little bit of sugar in it. The sugar is made in the leaf. So a tree with a lot of leaves will have a little more sugar in it than the ones in the woods where they typically have a long trunk and a small top compared to the ones in your yard where they may have leaves all the way from the ground clear to the top. And so you'll notice the sweet sap will be a little sweeter. It will take less sap to make the same amount of syrup uh, because you finish it at the same point. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. And so sometimes Later in the year, you get really low sugar runs, and it just takes more syrup to make the same amount of, uh, more sap to make the same amount of syrup. The syrup is all finished the same, no matter the color. It all has the same density. It's a sugar brick scale. We finish it with, uh, we have tools that we use. It's roughly seven degrees above the boiling point of water. If you wanted to make it at home, you could do that with your candy thermometer, and that's what you would use. And when you get that close to that point, that's, it will keep well and it will, um, you can it up and keep it away from the air. Now, when we can it, we put it in, in various kind of uh, containers and that's where, that's the way it's sold. Now we're gonna watch a video and see, it's actually my grandkids showing you how maple syrup is made. And it looks like the grandkids are doing all the work and uh, that's all right. They, uh, they're good workers. But you'll see the process from tapping the trees, gathering the sap, and the sap looks like water, but the finished product looks a little different. So, thank you and enjoy your tour. Hello, we're Dewey Meadows Farm. We're the Dewey family, and these guys are all learning how to make syrup, and they're going to show you how it's done. So, welcome to our farm and enjoy the tour. going in the truck to tap trees. It is about 25 degrees outside. First we drill the hole about two inches in and slightly upward. <laughs> then we come and tap the spile in. And then we tap the line into the spile. And that's it. Each tree has one to three taps depending on the size of the tree. 
we use plastic tubing. The tubes go downhill so the gravity will pull the sap down and each tube attaches to the main line. The main line then runs into the holding tank and that's where we gather the sap. Here we're gathering sap to take it and boil it. This is our vacuum system to pull it through the pipes. Now we are going to pump the sap out of this tank and into our holding tank. Welcome to Dewey Meadows Maple Cabin. This is where we make maple syrup. Hi, I'm DeHile and this is the evaporator where we heat our sap up to 220 degrees to make syrup. I'm Creed and this is the wood and this is the fire. And I'm going to show you how to fix the fire. our freshly made maple syrup. to the maple crumb sugar. Pure, natural, and sweet. Okay, now the, a little education on uh, the way syrup is labeled. When you buy syrup, it will always have a label on it. And it will say, grade A, either golden, rich, ta delicate taste, amber, rich taste, dark, robust taste, or very dark, strong taste. Now the color will change depending on the amount of invert sugars that are in the sap. Because the sap, when it's boiled, the tree only makes glucose. And if it's all glucose and goes into the evaporator and it's a high temperature, it's very stable. But as the increase of invert sugars, sucrose and fructose, they're not so stable at high temperatures. And as that evaporation process, high temperatures, it gets darker. And uh, some people prefer the very dark, some people prefer the very light. And they did a taste test in Boston with 12,500 people and 87% preferred this dark amber syrup because it has a little more flavor. The other products we have, <clears throat> we all start out, we turn the sap into syrup. And this is, a, this as you can see, it's a medium amber syrup or a rich taste. And that is the, the syrup. Now the products we make other than from the syrup is we make the cream, it's still spreadable. And but still made the same things, nothing's added. The candy is just cooked down a little further, it's like making fudge. And the crumb sugar is, is just crumb, completely dry sugar. And it's very stable, it keeps very well, and you just use it and it's just a pure maple syrup turned all the way into sugar. And that's the products we have, and, uh, but they're all pure, natural, and they're very sweet.